Amigos de Unison TV, gracias por estar con nosotros en esta entrevista especial. Estamos ya platicando con Carolina Ike, una, este, bueno, una gran instrumentista de este instrumento tan especial que es el Bermin. Carolina, thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm I'm fan of your work. Actually, I've followed what you do. For uh, for a few years, and you know, it's 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 so special that now we are talking to you directly in, uh, from from Germany. Now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the dermin is not a very common instrument. Uh, how did you find a dermin in your life? Well, um, I I used to say I didn't find the dermin. The dermin found me <laughs> because I started to play when I was seven years old. And my parents bought me the instrument. So I had um, played some violin and piano before. And then my parents, they do electronic music. And if you know a little bit about the history of electronic music, then you know that the theremin is, yeah, one of the first electronic musical instruments. And then they bought it. And one day I came into the living room and there was this weird looking box And it just looked at me and it was mine. So, yeah. Wow, since you were a child. And uh, you know, I have a question for you. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm also a musician, I'm a pianist. And we, you know, as instrumentalists, we practice our scales to develop our technique, our pages. What do you do to, you know, uh, to, to practice, I mean, to develop your technique and to improve Uh, the, the way you play uh, mm -hmm. an instrument like a theremin. Yes, you have to know that the theremin is only one part of the instrument, right? The other part that's you as a player, because you are, you know, you are within the electromagnetic field, and you are changing the shape of the fields, and you're changing the way the instrument sounds. So, what is most important is that you know about yourself, about your body. And so it's not only enough to practice the instrument, but um, you can be like, if you're walking down the street, you know, it makes a difference if you walk, if you like notice your body, notice um, you being upright, that's already like practicing because then later when you sit at your instrument, you can feel your body and you can feel if you're still or if you're moving. Um, and then, of course, since I play, um, Like since I measure space with my hand in the air, um, I will do certain uh, warming up exercises. Like I can show you. Uh, I uh, tune my instrument. And then... All sorts of different things to remember positions your positions in space uh, basically is training your muscle memory wow yeah like next to you know body uh, awareness then of course your hands do the work for um, playing precise notes now now that you you are actually a you actually you have built a very solid career as a German performer uh, Are there positions in your hands that re re represent notes? Um, well, about 15 years ago, I developed my playing technique, right? Uh, I, I wrote a book about my playing technique. And basically, we can measure space uh, with, your ha with the hand. One length of a hand equals one octave. Mm. And you adjust, uh, in, in one hand, you get one octave and now you can move that you know you can move your hand to any position so um once i know my starting point once i know okay here this is c i start on this note then i can calculate all the other notes um And approximately, I can say, okay, I have this angle here in my arm, and that's 45 degrees, and I, I know how it feels, and I close my hand, that should be a C. Mm -hmm. 
So for me, that is how it is. Um, and then you, you, know, you remember your angles of your arm. Um, if you don't have perfect pitch and you can't check it, you, of course, just listen to the music, listen to your pianist, and you correct your notes so you yeah. know which note you're playing. <laughs> Interesting. Now, do you use uh, technology in your performances, like pedals, like uh, loopers and things like that? Now you I do. Yes, I do. Um, I don't use so many pedals anymore. I have one here by accident, <laughs> which is a harmonizer pedal. You can get chords. Or oh, recently I released a video, uh, The Flight of the Bumblebee. Um, and what I use there is a tremolo effect. So basically, uh, the tremolo pedal, or like I, I work with Ableton Live, so I use the tremolo uh, plugin there, oh. and it cuts. It just you know cuts the note, so it seems like you, yeah, you're like doing very fast movements with your left hand, but it's, it's an effect. So interesting, very interesting. You know, you know, are, I know that all performances are special for an artist. Uh, but is there any performance that you will remember in your heart as a very special one in your career? Mm. It's hard to think because there's so many. <laughs> And um, yes, but yeah, you know, just what what comes to my mind as a first first thought is it wasn't really a concert at all. It was more I was going to a concert. Um, of Bobby McFerrin. He was singing uh, in, in Leipzig where I lived um, some years ago. And I, I was in the audience and then he asked you know, people to join for an improvisation and I jumped up because I'm, I'm a huge fan of his. And I managed to run on stage and then we uh, improvised a duet. I was singing. I was a really terrible singer but that back then was a like long time ago. Um, but yeah, that, that's what comes up to my mind right now. It's, it's, you know, it's great if you have the opportunity to perform with musicians you really admire and who inspire you so yeah exactly yeah uh, our, now have you have you been in mexico before yes in 2008 no. yeah. did, did you do a performance here yes at the um, art museum i think Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, do you like it? <laughs> yes, I mean, I would love to come back uh, someday. <laughs> well, now it's a bit difficult, but uh, I hope, yeah, but I can come back. In, in this, in this uh, difficult time that we all have, you know, with the pandemic, um, how, how, how have you been able to manage uh, your performances or, you know, did you stop? doing performances for a while now are you back in the in the stages what's going well, <laughs> um i was touring a lot last year and the year before so i had planned to be a bit more relaxed this year in any case yes. uh then i still had concerts which were cancelled and then some concerts came back this summer And then I should have had uh, concerts again in November, but now everything got canceled again. So okay. it's a bit like back and forth and you don't know. And blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, But I have to say, I'm very, I feel very lucky because I have um, a lot of uh, passions, you know, and I currently I write on my second method book and I finally have time to sit down every morning and write. And um, I have a, a nice studio where I can record music and, Um, I teach a lot of students online. I'm very, you know, grateful for that. And so I'm, I'm not bored. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, some things are cancelled, and that therefore you do other things. So for me, that was that the case. Yeah. And how many students do you have? I have to count um, because this year is it's very nice because I have more time. I have some students which come every week, and I, I don't know, maybe 20? Mm -hmm. but I, I, i don't know like some people come like once a month some people come every week so it's a bit different i don't I have yeah it's the list is long but then not everybody's there all, all the time so uh-huh and, uh, and what is the your new uh, i don't know your new piece or you you the piece that you're practicing right now or the project that you, you have in mind right now what's what's going on in your in your artistic um in my artistic life um well i am 
I'm developing a a not. <laughs> I want to record my music, which is binaural. Binaural means that you, uh, if you're in a room and you have several speakers around you, that's surround, so you can you know move sounds around. And I've been doing that on my live shows uh, last year and this year, where I can you know take the theremin sound and just move it around in space. And now I we developed this plugin where you can mix that binaurally, so you put headphones on, and you can you feel like you're in a room and there's you know sound, sounds going around you. So I'm working on pieces and recording more more music for that. Great. So are we going to have a new recording of 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 you soon? Uh, I think I think I'm I think I want to release like a single this year and then maybe work with a record label next year, you know, it's yeah. I don't want to pressure pressure myself because you know, there's so much to do and I'm always like Ah, I want to do this, 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 and this, and this. It's, it's too much. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, whatever comes, comes. But I think uh, at least one song this year would be nice. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Now, uh, I I would love to ask you. I would love to ask you. Yeah, you know, we are we are close to to the end of this interview. Uh, well, I, I want to thank you for your time, uh, and I want to thank your manager also for 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 her time too to answer my emails. Um, Why don't you play for us a little bit of something that you you like to play? Uh, uh, any piece that you love and that uh, you would love to share with us? It could be short. Well, my my uh, my theremin is very dry. It's uh, not a it's it's, it's very dry signal. But me just a little. Thank you. Like Berlin player, a, a very fam famous, I shall say, Berlin player that is touring all around the world, has been with us this afternoon in uh, Desde Casa for Unison TV, La Señal del Saber. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, you know, any, any new release that you have, please send us an email and we can share yeah. it here with the community with this university community and with all the state of Sonora through Unison TV. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thanks. much. Y bueno, es, amigos Help. de TV, seguimos, seguimos con más en Desde Casa, así que quédese con nosotros.